Hi everyone! Welcome! I went for a walk with my gimbal, actually my daughter's gimbal, but I've been trying to practice with it. So I was very, very focused on all the functions as opposed to saying, Hello everybody, we are going for a walk to my other nursery just down the road. So hello everybody. I hope that you enjoy this little practice tour with my gimbal and some sights and sounds from my nursery. Well, this is certainly going to be very interesting and I hope for you too. It will be for me because I am now at my second most favorite nursery. <laughs> and uh, one of the trees that comes and welcomes you here, and I call it the orchid tree or hibiscus tree or whatever, but I just love the colors. It is now kind of losing the blooms, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. Lots of thorns, lots of thorns on that trunk. So the reason why this is going to be interesting is the fact that you are with me on a gimbal. I do not have any microphone with me so this is all new I'm using just the phone mic any sounds any wind distortions I'm really really sorry but this is the lane I come down when I take a walk to my second favorite nursery and I'm not going to be piled high with products and I want to show you why I come here share that with you ah, look at those trees I love those blooms up there. But I also have to be careful because there seems to be a lot of traffic on a day like this. I thought I would leave it to a time of day that actually permits me to be on my own, but I'm not. Look at these beautiful palm trees that greet you right at the entrance. Look at that. Gorgeous. So let's go on in. This little fountain meets you as well. I love the palm trees. And if you were to drive around, let me see that I hold it steady because first time newbie gimbal user, and I hold you steady, you would come around this gorgeous little fountain and then you come into what I consider nursery paradise. Look at this alley. How about that then, huh? Look. So let's go and have a look. They are starting to bloom here on the left. Look at those spikes coming out there. And let me show you what is already in bloom. You see that on the right there? See that? Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? Ah, oh, amazing. More spikes. Not the orchid spikes, but so impressive. All right, we have permission to film. We have permission to be here. So let's have a look. This is a little closer to my home than my other one that we went to. And um, this is Viveros del Valle, which for me is absolutely awesome. Okay, let's go inside. I have to put my mask on. So I might do a voiceover as in this case. We'll see how the sound is. So we'll have to go through. First things first. Let's go to where the real thing starts. You know dog food. You know all that. Let me take you where I go because I love this place.
Look at this little cafeteria. And they have these gorgeous bonsai like trees as well. And here's another oh, palm tree. How about that then? Oh my goodness. Oh. And some lucky fella is going to get a little bonsai style olive tree. Let's see if there's any birds here. They have this beautiful aviary. Oh, they cute. But they have aviaries here as well. And there used to be a massive parrot, a macaw. I don't see him though. He speaks Spanish and he didn't swear. So that was nice. And then look at these massive greenhouses flanked by these over the top bonsais. Very, very busy nursery because actually they also do landscaping in a mass, mass size. So they have all their greenhouses here. Incredible. And they've done, through the lockdown, they've done a lot of refurbishing, a lot of cleanup, a lot of modernizing, which I must say is absolutely remarkable to be able to have that in the budget considering how drastic and sudden everything was. So I'm going to walk all the way back and show you here and just walk amongst the beautiful trees. Yeah, this is why I come here. Those massive kind of bonsai cut olive trees. That's what they do very, very well. And then you can walk amongst the date palms, which is incredible. And they just go on and on and on. So this is paradise. This here is a walk in the park, but in a functional manner, because obviously they are doing business. Look at those berries up in that palm tree. All right, we might get some footage out of this that is useful. We might get something that is pleasant to look at. We might not. But this is Viveros del Valle and I love them. Used to come here a lot with Thierry Henry as well. Still going on. And I'm talking big trees, big trees. And they do all kinds of landscaping big parks. Woo, check out that urn. Big parks and also little gardens. But they are in serious, serious landscaping projects. You see their trucks passing my home every single day loaded with palm trees. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll go back the other way just for a little bit of variety. palm trees of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> Look at that spire, the new leaf coming out at the top there against the blue sky. 
Oh, aren't they pretty? As much as I like all these palm trees, I have to say my all-time favorite palm tree will always, always be the coconut palm. Some things still need some work. And if I were an inorganic grower, I would use these. Because this is great for orchids. These palm tree bracts. Yeah, awesome. I love it. So shady and lush here. Let's go outside. Little pergola awaits us. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Anyone into big bonsai? <laughs> if the little ones don't do it for you, Viveros del Valle will make you one in big.
grasses against the sun. And I love these grasses, they're for Stuka Glauca. Oh, I used to have so many, so many. Thoughts, anyone? Beautiful, beautiful. It still goes back over there. But I have instructions to be home before dark. <laughs> so one day we'll go back there. More pots. This is where all the ceramics and the glazed are. It's pretty much similar to what we normally see in our garden centers here, with the exception that Viveros del Valle has a much bigger array and selection of colors and shapes. Whereas if you remember the other one in Agro Jardin, they had pretty much cleared out their area. So these guys are much more proactive, even with all the refurbishment. This place is super, super clean. It's gorgeous. What they did during lockdown was take advantage to sort things out. They have opened up this entire area. This is all new. There used to be two partitions, separations. And they've gone and opened up the whole thing. It's incredible, it's beautiful. It's beautifully arranged. The open space is a marvel, to be said. They're gonna have these awesome tables, which my goodness, I don't even want to know how much they cost. So this whole spans was once two different rooms. I used to have a palm tree like that as well. Anything silver, glaucus. My terrace and gardens were all with these blue hues. Once upon a time. But this space is impressive. Everything new. And then look at these little pots. Yeah. <laughs> if you've watched my maximum video, you know what I'm coming to. <laughs> We're going to come back when they've finished all of this. Ooh. Who said something about orchids? Who said? Well, well, well. This looks familiar, Fernanda. Really? Really now? You're kidding me. I wonder if I buy this one again. My daughter will not recognize that I lost it. We had one, I lost it. Big lip. Oh, beautiful. In and amongst my glaucous blue-gray gardens and terraces, I had these dotted around. I was very much gray-purple. Still am. Very difficult, though, to get some blue gray orchids that's why i like the, the poisonry eye so much this is going to be impressive mm -hmm. 